How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our next episode on how to create JavaScript. Now in this episode, I'm going to talk about something called operators within JavaScript. And operators is something used in order to create all sorts of logical operations within a JavaScript script. So when it comes to these operators, we have a lot to talk about. There's a lot of different types of operators, but for the sake of this episode, I'm just going to talk about a few of them. Uh, later on, when we do actually get to more specific types of JavaScript functions or uh, code, I will get into some of the other operators we have within JavaScript. But for now, it's just going to confuse you since we haven't talked about uh, conditional statements and loops and that sort of thing. So uh, for now, we're just going to focus on a few of them. So what I have in here is a basic index.html document. I'm just going to zoom in so you can actually see what's going on. And inside this document here, I have a couple of examples of assignment operators and arithmetic operators. Now, assignment operators we've actually seen before in one of the previous episodes where we set a value equal to, for example, a variable inside JavaScript. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of the different types of assignment operators that we have inside JavaScript. So the first one that you've already seen is the equal sign. Now, if we were to go ahead and create a variable by saying we have var number, not number, number. I can actually see my keyboard here. There we go. And set it equal to some kind of value, for example, a integer number. So we were to say 10. Then we use this assignment operator in order to set number equal to 10. Now, if I were to go ahead and use one of the other ones here and show an example of it, if I were to go on the next line and say I want to add 5 to this 10 inside number, I can say number is equal to number plus 5. And what this is going to do is that it's going to say number is going to have a new value and we're going to take number, which is 10, and add 5 to it. So if we were to console lock this, it's actually going to say 15 inside the browser. Now, this is sort of a weird way of doing it. So what we can do instead is we can actually go and use the assignment operator we have up here. So we're to go down to the next line and just comment out what we just did here and create a new example where we say number, if I can actually see my keys here, is plus equal to 5 which means that we're going to add five to the value inside the variable we're talking about before uh, the assignment operator. So this is the exact same thing as doing the above. I just showed you an example of, and the same thing goes for if you want to minus, multiply, divide, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, this is going to add something to the current value of uh, the variable or the value that we're talking about. So this is what we call an assignment operator. And the next example here is something we call an arithmetic operator, which is hard to pronounce, but arithmetic operator. And this is just basic mathematic operations that we have inside, for example, algebra. So if I were to go ahead and say we have a variable called number two, because we need to have a new variable and set it equal to five times 10. Uh, the multiply symbol is going to be an arithmetic operator. So we have all these types of operations inside JavaScript in order to perform, well, operations inside our scripts inside JavaScript. And these are something that we use constantly when we write JavaScript. Uh, in a few episodes, we'll talk about, for example, uh, conditional statements, which allow for us to say that some uh, code needs to run if a certain condition is true. And inside the condition, we have another type of operator we're going to talk about. So all these operators we have within JavaScript, we're going to get to once we get a bit further ahead in this course here, because there is quite a few to talk about. And it's, it's too early to talk about them now because they're just going to confuse you uh, this early on. So this is what we call operators within JavaScript. And I just want to mention it, that we have these because they're really important to know about before we get too far into JavaScript. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.